Yes? Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crying. Let's go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Ah! Another fight. Ah! Get him, get him! Finish this! Yeah. You call yourself a Nord? yourself a Nord? It's... it's nothing. That's all you got? You can't win this! Damn you. Want to hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. I got no quarrel with you, but I won't turn one down neither. Keep walking, soft gut. I'm more woman than you can handle. Keep walking, soft gut. I'm more woman than you can handle. You've been talking to those companions? Too hot headed, they cried. Weak, pathetic cowards, the lot of them. It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth, so they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. Good. Chat time's over. Was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from old Rorik's dead. Indeed, I do. What do you want? Father says I ain't smart enough to be stable master. Someday. Need a horse? Talk to my father, Skolvar. Old lady, Maidenloom, owns the stables. But my father and me, we run things. Uh-huh.
Storm cloaks, Imperials, dragons. Ain't no matter to me what I kill. Let them come. Staying out of trouble, kinsmen? Looking to do some hunting, eh? Avoid Brittleshin Pass. It's southeast of here. What is it? If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's Cauldron. You should talk to the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. Lend any aid you can. Yes? You look tired, friend. The Bannered Mare has beds for rent. All right, then. Yes? Is there something I can do for you? Mm hmm. the word of mighty Dalos. You didn't die, it seems. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when Baringa. you've deciphered it. Baringa, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. Vernon, Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. 
There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Done us a great service. Here is your reward. that has made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Housecard, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, They're no, so Housecard. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move out. Let's... I hope the tower holds out until we get there. Looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Back. It's still here somewhere. Proki and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Godman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover and make every arrow count! Hallo, save us. It's a dragon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, Feel free to walk away. We will find her eventually.
What? The who? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you'll excuse me, I really just want to get home. I just want to go home and read. Until next time. I just want to go home and read. If you'll excuse me, I really just want to get home. I just want to go home and read. I import books whenever I can. Most Nord works are too bawdy and violent for my tastes. Until next time. Yes, what is it that you want? I actually advise the Jarl on political matters. My input is invaluable, of course. But this is all probably a bit over your head. If there's nothing else, I really do have important matters to tend to. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. The Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. The Jarl has things under control. Don't you worry. Why would anyone join the Stormcloaks? They have a fraction of the Empire's wealth and power. I look forward to the day when this rebellion is put down, and we once again have peace. Right, I really am busy, so... Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptin himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business. Not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. 
I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Good to see you. Did you need something? Of course. <clears throat> what can I do for you? The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Pleased to meet you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way. Please keep your weapons sheathed in the Jarl's presence. You are a welcome guest but you must still respect the rules of the Jarl's household. Please keep your weapons sheathed in the Jarl's presence. I've got my eyes on you. Please keep your weapons sheathed in the Jarl's presence. Lead on. It seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Welcome to my alchemy shop, Arcadia's Cauldron. Hold on. Oh dear, your skin's as pale as the snow. How do you feel? I 
think you might be sick. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Don't worry. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. And I'll be happy to serve you. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Faringar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. <laughs> I think you might be sick. How do you feel? I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Don't worry. I've got something for just about everything. I have several elixirs for sale. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but... something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived in this city for 20 years. 20! These Stormcloaks are nothing more than an armed mob. This war won't last much longer. Take care of yourself. Good to see you. Hello, friend. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. <sighs> you should think about staying the night. It's what do you been need, a pleasure. Handsome? Alive, will you? Yes, Mum. Hi there. Of course. I understand. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Hmm? Need something? Until next time. Is there something I can do for you? Until next time. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. So, Mikhail, what may be tonight, huh? Something a beef? A breath and dick, maybe? Well, I was thinking maybe something more. A high 
We've been down this road before, Mikai. Save the sap and sadness for your lady friends. My patrons need life. Cheering. Alright, alright. How about the gutter snipe? I think seven siblings for seizures would be nice here. Especially when they're in their house. Ah, excellent suggestion. I'll do that one then. Excuse me. Yes, hello. Do you believe that? No. I mean, do you think I'm beautiful? You know, I don't get the impression that I'm beautiful. Oh, really? How dare you! You behave like you're carousing in a house of ill repute. <sighs> oh, never mind. I'm not easily insulted. Go ahead and play your little joke. Oh, oh, I, I'm, um, um, well, have you met Mikhail? Mikhail is quite the songbird. Anyway, what I need is a mammoth's tusk. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of my love. Farewell. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. See you. Hi there. Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help. Please, come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. I'm sorry. Just, just don't hurt me. I know you're not one of them, but you just can't help them. You can't let them know I'm here. Please, will you help me? There's no one here I can trust. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you.
So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll... I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they all... I'm sorry. Please, will you help me? I am not the... The men who... I need you to root them out and... They're mercen... I don't dare show my face, lest... I heard one... Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult. I don't know for sure. I spoke out a... You think I'd be in... These men... Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Of course. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. There's been talk amongst the guards that you are dragonborn. But such a thing, surely that's not possible. What are you doing that for? Yes. Good to see you. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yes. It would seem so. It's all in this note. 